Bam. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, say hello. Drop a comment. If you're catching this on the replay, comment hashtag replay. My name is Katie Rex. I am with Saint Beauty, formerly Mascara. Um, but I love comfy clothes and I love a really fast makeup routine. So I'm just going to whip through uh, my simple hack for you um, using my same palette and a few brushes and just show you how easy it is because why not, right? What else are you doing on a Tuesday night except, you know, looking for makeup tips? I love it. Okay, I'm going to go in with my detail brush. All of Saint's brushes are double-ended. Um... And they're just the best bristles, softest bristles like ever. Um, my compact is pretty big. A lot of people don't have this big of compacts. You can go, mine's like three layers. I don't even have it all filled out. But you can go as big or as small as you want to go. And I just go in. You can see it's like on an angle. I've only got a little bit there. I need to clean these brushes. Um, that's my task. I usually do that every weekend and last weekend or well this past weekend was girls weekend so that didn't happen I did not get brushes cleaned but all I'm doing with my contour here is going in a three around my face so I start here on each side I go around the hairline I blend it right in with the hairline too under that cheekbone, lifting up. You want that right under there lifted up. We can clean this up if it falls out. That is the beauty of a cream foundation. And then I just go under the jaw, voila, just like that. So I just do the same to the other side. So I start at the hairline, pull it around. There are actually multiple ways to apply your makeup, your Saint Beauty makeup. I typically, I like to contour first. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if there's rhyme or reason. I think, I mean, I guess sometimes I do it the other way. But 95% um, of the time, I'm contouring first. And I think it's just like to get the shape of my face out of the way. Do you see like how I just sculpted and shaped that right out. I will um, do some contour on my nose, but we're gonna hold off on that because first I'm gonna go in with my blush and bronzer brush and I am like literally dabbing across a couple shades. Um, I, you know, I've got this redness going on. So I like to um, meet the level of redness where it's at. And it depends on the day, for one. Two, it depends on if I'm wearing fake tanner. Um, all that good stuff. So, I'm just going in and hitting that redness with this color. I am trained to custom color match you um, to supply you with your own list of colors. So... Shoot me a DM or comment below if you'd like to get your own colors. Super easy, super simple. Then I'm going to take this uh, very small detailed end. These are my two go-to brushes for everything. And I go into an even lighter color and I'm going to hit that right there in the corner of my eye, side of my nose. Bam. I'm going to hit it out here on the outer part of my eye. What we're doing is we're brightening. We're brightening this area up. Do you see that? Then we're gonna blend it and it goes so quick. I'm gonna do just a little like shoot, shoot down the middle of the nose, a little over the brow area. Boom. Can you see it just brighten everything up? I like to go under my nose, on my chin, and then I actually like to take this and, and go under 
the the contour and clean that contour up and it's amazing because like I'm using the same brush that I even contoured with and it just blends all of the cream foundations just blend so effortlessly boom boom so now I'm just like blending all these colors around my face that is how quick and easy and simple this process this hack highlight and contouring really is boom then I'm gonna go in on the side hey Kayla thanks so much for hopping on I'm gonna contour my nose so I'm just lightly dusting that on and you can see I get it on the up on the bridge of the nose okay you want it up on the bridge of the nose because that is going to give you the illusion of that nice thin do you see that the, the closer you can get these together the better and then I just kind of touch boom blend blend that out boom boom want it up on the bridge not on the sides of your nose so that's like my main foundation that's how I do my main foundation. And then I like to go in. We've got Bella Bronzer here. So I like to put her. She's got some amazing warmth. I like to put her up there on top of my cheeks. And she just brings this warmth to my face. I like to go across the forehead. She helps to also like just kind of blend in your contour and your brightener color. And I just, I mean. She's just amazing. In the temples, up on the cheekbones, on the nose, on the chin. She, for me, especially, like I said, I'm a fake tanner. And when I wear my fake tanner, my face is a different color than my chest. And so Bella just helps to, like, bring that down a little bit. Um. All right. So, like, main face, almost done. I still need blush. I can't not wear blush. So I'm going to go on the same side. I'm going to go into this color sandstone. And I like to place my blush back here away from the apple of my cheek. And just like, I don't know, swoosh up to the hairline. And then maybe circle just a hair into the apple of my cheek. That's what I like to do. I think it gives a very uplifting effect and it doesn't get all the pigment right in the front of your face and because they're double ended brushes this big poofy end is a beautiful little buffer all around and that's really it like for the face that's what I do there's you know illuminators there's setting powders there's so many other things that you can pop on there um in addition but that's like my basic quad palette for hack that's what i do okay next most people do not fill in their brows it's just like not in their daily routine and that's okay um but i just want to show you the difference in the brightness you can bring to your eyes just by darkening your brows a couple shades or I don't even want to say darkening them but just like filling in the gaps where there may not be as much so I'm actually going to start right in here and I do you see where that like wasn't there because lord knows we've all over tweezed at some point in our lives and then I like to start at the top and just fill in that arch gorgeous do you see how it's already bringing such shape and dimension there and and what I'm doing I'm actually going into our eyeshadow color so I like this color trust and I'm tapping off the excess and this is our hotline brush and it has this detail and you can see it's like beveled it's on an angle it is amazing and I just like to like go in and kind of fill very scarcely sparsely scarcely whatever you want to use and then I go back um it comes equipped with a spoolie on the one end so I just brush those brows up but do you see how much like 
more put together that side looks than this one, you can still see I've got some, some work to do over here. I never started filling in my brows, you guys, until I started with Saint. It wasn't even an option. I was like, I don't need it. And then all of a sudden, it became an option. And I was like, why have I not been doing this this whole time? And one thing I've noticed, which I most recently found this out on um, with like some other beauty influencer pages and whatnot is I, guys, I'm not the only one with like a lazy eye. Like this whole, this whole setup, everything is just like lower than this one. It, it's like this side naturally got a facelift and this side didn't. I don't know what's, what the deal is there, but they raise at the same rate, but I just feel like this eye is always drooped down. And I found another lady who is like the exact same way. And it's so funny. So funny. Okay, I, I'm going to put this on my lips. A nice little lip gloss. Those look sparse. Perfect. Love the color. Okay, then we're going to move on to eyeshadows. Um, so I'm going in with our eyeshadow brush. Again, everything is just in this palette. I'm just moving from boom to boom to boom and different brushes. It's so cool. I'm going to go into this color down here. This color is Bubba. Yes, I had to check all the names are on the back of them. And this is going to be like my transition color. So I'm putting it right here on my crease. You can see, look at the technique I'm using. My hand is at the farthest end of the brush and I'm going up on an angle into my crease and what this is going to do is anyone with like hooded eyes this is going to help get them to be able to see the color up on out of the crease and up onto their actual eyelid so I just like to swoosh it in there and remember stay up on that angle and get it up above onto the brow bone. So when like the eyes relax, you can still see your eyeshadow. I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same quick to this eye over here. And I, guys, I, I honestly, I really like just a basic eye. Man, I got the burps. <laughs> um, I am not one to typically Every day wear venture out of my normal shades. So Bubba is perfect. Perfect little neutral brownie. Little hint of orange. Um, and then what I like to do is this eyeshadow brush has, you know, the big fluffy end that we just use in a little more of a detail. Then you can see I these are like my favorite brushes I'm using here. I'm gonna go back into that color trust. And on an angle there, so I've just got the product on one side, not on the other side. I am just going to tap on the outside of that lid. Just tap right here in like a C shape. Boom. So I'm going a little on the lash line and just tapping up into that crease. Do you see that? Then I'm going to take that puffy end again and I'm just going to lightly mist missed i'm creating new makeup words and concepts but i'm just like blending those just a little bit more so together so i'm gonna do the same with the other eye go into trust tap it off i'm gonna start here on the outside i'm gonna see around like so you want me i'm almost done honey you will give me kisses? No, touches. No kisses? Oh, thanks. Touches and hugs. You want to give me kisses and hugs? Let me go. Are you coming up? I don't think I need any of these. Come me up. Come on. I'm way up high. Can you get up here? Can you get up here? There. Okay. 
Do you got mm. chocolate on your face? Mm -hmm. Can you say hi to the ladies? Don't hi. kick it. Don't kick them. Hi. Okay, but don't kick them. Well, they can't talk back. <laughs> Why? They can just type because we're just the ones talking. Okay, you good? Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah. All right, ladies. So we've got that C shape with that darker shade on both sides. I'm actually going to use my finger and go into this color. It's called Stardust. It is amazing. All of our shades are so pigmented. And I just like to use my finger and get it on the lid there. So I'm going to do the same on this side. And then I'm going to show you a little hack. If you have trouble getting your eyeshadows, I'm going to put a little right under the brow too. Just a titch not like a whole bunch don't kick Hi. don't kick okay uh. <laughs> um okay so now that i've got that on on the rest of the lid one <laughs> thing... hey. hey we can hear you one thing that you can do this is like the last step I do before I do my mascara. Hi. Okay, is I'm just taking my brush. You can see there's pigment, but there's there's nothing coming off. But to help get those colors better blended, hold up, dude. I'm going in with my vanilla dust setting powder, and I'm gonna pull. And you can use any powder; it doesn't have to be, you know, our vanilla dust setting powder. What are you doing? Okay, you good? And I'm going to take it and start at my lid and just swish that all the way up to my brow. So I'm just doing, oh, you guys are getting the real glimpse at my life. Do you see how much more that side is blended than the other side? Let me hold it. You're going to hold my compact? Okay. And tap off. And okay, be careful. Start there at that lid, and it just helps to blend all your colors together. What? What? Blend that? them out. What? What is that Look shape? That. Awesome. What's what shape? The thing. Shape. And then my mascara of choice is Thrive by, um, or Liquid Lash Extension by Thrive. Thrive. Okay, can I have my mirror? Uh -huh. You make me nervous like you're going to stick your finger in one of them. Would you do that? You good? You coming back up? I'm almost done, bud. Okay. And finish off with a little mascara and that's it. It is so quick, so easy. The best part is I have like one palette. So, you know, when your kid's crawling on you and you're doing your makeup in the morning. <laughs> you coming up? Are you coming up? Jumping up. Well, you can't jump that high. Can you? Come on. I can't. I know. This is getting to be ridiculous. Come on. Are you coming up? One, two, three. I, I, All right, well, I'm going to finish my mascara then if you're messing around. <laughs> Mister. <coughs> and. Hey, why is mom not moving? You got to make me ready. Mom. Bam. I don't even think I'm going to put it. Oh, you found your way up, eh? I don't think I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes today. Mm. Hi, Kelly. Uh. Thank you so much, sweetie. Boom. <laughs> you better not be you little turd. Oh, child. And that's it. That is it. Everything in one compact makes it so easy, so nice, so easy, so flawless. Can you... Can you say goodnight? Goodnight. <laughs> All right. Head out, bud. I'll be there in two seconds. Yeah, oh, so thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. not going to leave. That's okay. We're done here. All right. And you're done. I'm done.
Already? Already, is that okay? Uh, Were you coming to mess with me? No. No? I didn't. Have a good night, ladies. Bye.